Next up, we're talking ghosts and paranormal activity. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just my wife plugging in the neutral bullet. <laughs> a man from the US hit the headlines this week after witnessing some apparently haunted China dolls moving of their own accord while he was home alone. Amazingly, Chad from Ohio was able to film the horrifying encounter in its entirety. Ranga Nation, no running off behind your sofas. Let's take a look. <laughs> dude, I gotta be tripping right now. This mother just moved, dude. I gotta be fing tripping. <gasps> oh, boy, we got we out of here. Oh, guys. I'm literally the only one that's here right now. Oh, oh my God, dude. Oh. Isn't that terrifying? <laughs> what a horrible flat. <laughs> Ranga Nation, hands up who thinks that was paranormal activity. Gen Z, to you that was paranormal, was it? Yeah, that stuff really scares me. And now I stared into its eyes, I'm really scared. And I feel like I have to say yes to these things because if I say and deny it, I'm scared it will just like come for me or I don't know, something will happen. I'm really scared. So sorry, oh, what you're saying is you're scared that that doll will watch this episode of the Ranga Nation. <laughs> See you denying that that was a haunted doll. And then despite the lockdown, get overseas travel. <laughs> Come and find you to kill you as a direct result of that. Is that what you're saying? Do you know, ghosts have, like, maybe they have virtual powers. I don't know. OK, <laughs> virtual powers. Well, yeah. surprisingly, 60% yeah. of people claim to have seen a ghost in their lifetime. That's unbelievable, isn't it? No, I mean, literally, it's, it's not believable. <laughs> uh, let's get down to it. Hands up if you've seen a ghost. Technophobe, tell me all about it, please. <laughs> Well, mm. I was asleep one afternoon, just having a little bit of a nap when I was a teenager. I woke up because this little girl was pulling my hair. I had really, really long hair at the time. Yeah. And I honestly, I'm not just saying, I didn't think anything of it. And anyway, about an hour later, I went downstairs and just said to my mum, who's round? And she went, no one. Technophobe, may I ask yeah. you a question? Is there a possibility, <laughs> since you were having a nap in your room, that what you experienced was, in fact, a dream? Uh, Wheeler Dealer, have you, you've seen a ghost, have you? Yeah, so um, I can remember one time I was working late in the office. Mm. It was around, like, 9, 10 o'clock, and I just put my head down on the desk and closed my eyes. And then... <laughs> Tom, I think we're going to just put a theme here with these ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, I become aware of a very bright 1930s ballroom. And there's <laughs> lots of people around me. And they're singing and they're dancing and they're chatting away and they're having a good time. And then... <laughs> and then something happens... And I'm back in an IT room again. Well, what right? happened is you woke up. You woke up from a dream. <laughs> what ghost did you see? Uh, well, it was a complete change of venue. It, it, it's, it's, an it's an unusual ghost. It's a ballroom ghost, but not a ghost that's in a ballroom. It's at the, the, the whole ballroom was a ghost. It was, it was the whole ballroom was an apparition. It's also the storyline of the film The Shining as well. <laughs> yeah. It's not even your dream. OK, here's what I think. It can be frightening if you think you've seen a ghost, but I do actually have a bit of advice for you. You haven't. <laughs> and finally tonight...